Obviously, Johnson has to offer. You know, we talked to him last night. I said, are you an athlete playing quarterback or a quarterback who happens to be an athlete? He said, I am, make no mistake, a quarterback who happens to be an athlete. And when things break down, there's almost even a slight hesitation before he takes off. This time he split down at the bottom of the screen. Ganther usually just runs a power play on this play. Ganther in there at quarterback and takes the direct snap and goes nowhere. We saw Utah do that a couple of times last year at some point. They'll set up to do something different. We well, have that. to. Yeah. I mean, every every film that we've looked at in these first few games, when Ganther sets up to take the direct snap, it's the power. I mean, it's just a direct snap to your tailback, and you have a lead back following through. And, and it's pretty clear that TCU knew that when 13's taking a direct snap, he's going to run the football. Straps hanging out here. Ganther looks like he's ready to just pound it 25 <laughs> times tonight. <laughs> the handoff as the receiver comes back. Really the H-back, Castile, and he is stopped by this aggressive defense. You know, Gary Patterson is the head coach, but he was the defensive guy for TCU when they returned to prominence under Dennis Franchoni in the late 90s before Dennis went over to Alabama. And Coach Patterson, he loves to talk. To, he talked us into circles talking defense yesterday and we love doing XO chat oh my gosh Woo! That's the, it, it was a it was Bill Walsh esque for defense what? I mean he's taking it to a different level yeah, if you see Gary Patterson doing a defensive clinic show up yeah, it was great stuff blitz off the corner Johnson is hit breaking free it's hauled in to the seven yard line so Brian Hernandez gains 43 as he's able to get behind the secondary. And when you bring the pressure, you got to hold up in the back end. They couldn't there. Well, this is, again, another opportunity for Brian Johnson to show his team the courage that he has. They bring one more than Utah can handle. Usually you see a quick throw. This time he sat back in the shotgun, threw the football downfield, and a perfect throw considering as a quarterback you can feel that pressure closing in on you. You know you're about to get hit. Nice throw by Johnson right over the shoulder of Hernandez. All the way down to the five. Hernandez, a junior out of Phoenix, Arizona, junior college transfer. So a chance here to get early points on the board. Pounding through toward the goal line. And in for the touchdown is Quinton Ganther. That nice extra effort by Ganther gets the senior his second touchdown of the year. And it's 6-0 Utah. Mike, this is why I love the Utah offense, is they can finesse you with a deep ball downfield, and then they can pound you down inside the red zone. He got the ball across the plane. But it's it, a lot of times you see teams with that reputation of having the quote-unquote spread offense, and when they get inside that 10-yard line, they don't know how to handle it. Utah, last year, and we've seen now this year, they can get physical down inside the 5-yard line if they have to. Dan Beardall adds the extra point. Seven plays and 70 yards. Ganther takes it the last five. 7-0 for the Utes. You have to be intelligent. And you all, this is a check. He said opposite, opposite. They're going to run the option to the left. He felt the momentum of the defense sliding. He wasn't going to be able to outrun the defense. He just put the brakes on, cut back to the right before the defense was able to recognize that. But instincts and intelligence very, very important in running this Utah offense. Alex Smith was so good at it last year. Brian Johnson off to a very good start to his career in these first three games as well. Dan Beardall, and that's only extra point. 18-year-old, impressive sophomore, Brian Johnson, leading Utah, perhaps, towards win 19. 